Welcome to EMP. Today I want to talk and show you a little bit about Bartender's Print Portal application. Uh, this is their web-based printing. It uh, does require a full Bartender install with um, actually either professional automation or enterprise additions. Um, there is some differences between enterprise and then the automation and the Pro Edition installs, and I'll show you that as well. It's really one big major um, difference. So let me bring up Bartender's Print Portal. Um, what we have here is an instance of Print Portal that is running and hosted off my local PC. And right now we have just an EMP test label up. Uh, one good thing about Print Portal in between all three editions is the client print service. Um, this allows you to not only print through printers that are installed on the server or the host of the print portal, but you can also configure it to be able to print to printers attached to the, the client that you're connecting to or from. As you can see here, printers on my computer. So this is the client computer. These are all the drivers, the printers installed. And then these are also available to print to uh, the printers on the actual server. They're identical because it's the same machine, but this is a great thing of being able to not only print to printers on the server, on the host, but also on the client from anywhere. And as long as you have a web connection, it will print. Um, the client printing does require a small install of the client printing service uh, from Bartender, but it's very easy to set up. And this is a um, print portal um, instance. Same deal, it does have a client print service running. So now we see the printers on my computer, which is the client, and the printers on the server. There's just two of them. Again, same thing against different editions. The additions here, the addition here on the um, AWS server is the automation. And the instance here on my local is the enterprise edition. Uh, big major difference between the two is um, authentication and user permissions. So with enterprise, you get the ability to do not only basic authentication, but also um, Microsoft or in um, domain authentication. So here we have. Um, I'm automatically logged in because it authenticates against my domain authentication. And the administrative setup is available because, again, I've allowed it myself to be able to do the um, administrative portion. It's configurable through the administration console and bartender. Big major difference between enterprise and professional automation is the visibility for folders. I can separate who gets to see what folder based off of who they are. So right now everything's available and visible to everybody, or I can break it down and it's very easy to do. I just have to pick who I want. And now I'm the only person available to see the templates folder. If we look at the uh, of this, um, very similar. Uh, there is no Microsoft authentication, so you just you're locked into a basic authentication. Um, although what we did here was is we did go in and set user permissions for access to this server. So we set up a group where not anybody can just enter the web address and get into Bartender. Um, it has to be available to actually get onto the the machine. Setup wise, there's a password on this one because I can't block it off by user. And again, here's the root folder list. It's got one folder, but I don't have any visibility options. So I can't break it down as to, you know, person A sees this folder, person B sees another folder. That's the main difference here between print portal editions is this visibility and then the user authentication for login. But otherwise, you get pretty much everything the same. Just wanted to um, thank you for joining in and 
you have any questions, please get with us at emptechgroup.com.